This little kitten was left in a box. I think it's right there. Oh my gosh. Literally in the middle of nowhere. She's so hungry. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I actually received a text from my friend. He sent me his location and a picture of this little kitten. I'll show you right now. This little kitten was left in a box with food and water. You know, I can't really tell how old this little kitty is from the photo. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get in my car right now and go check it out for myself. Guys, he told me that it was on this street. I think it's right there if you can see really closely. Yeah, this has to be it. Oh my goodness. I'm pulling up right now. Let me, let me park and get out really fast. Let's go check this out. Oh my gosh. Guys. Oh my god, this baby is so tiny. I thought it was going to be a little bigger. She doesn't even have her eyes open yet. She has to literally be a week old and someone as awful left it in the middle of literally nowhere, guys. I'm in the middle of nowhere. And they left food and water. This baby can't even eat food and water yet. Oh my God. That is so sick. So you guys, this is why you can't take on pets if you don't know what you're doing because you know, this is the sad reality that, you know, when people don't want to take care of it and think it's too hard, they just leave it out here without its proper necessities and they just leave it out here to die. Like, look at this, this is awful. It's like literally in the middle of nowhere. Well, what I gotta do right now is get this little baby warm inside my car and head back to my house. All right guys, so I have the baby loaded in my car now. I'm gonna head home now and you know, this baby can't regulate its body temperature so it's pretty freezing cold. So I'm gonna have to get home as fast as possible to get this baby on some fluids so you know cross our fingers he will make it all right guys so I just got home with the little baby and I'm gonna open the door right now and I'm gonna take him to my brother and see his reaction and that he's not gonna believe this at all Jacob yeah look what I found in the fields What? look at this little guy someone left it there Left him there. Take, hold the box. What? Look at this little guy. Oh my god, what is this thing? Is this like a little, what is, oh my. Isn't that so sad? This thing is so tiny, what? This thing is like, I know, someone left this, food and water in there. When was this, does it still have its umbilical cord attached? Like a little, has it healed? No, it's like a little like, Oh my gosh. Scab. This thing looks like it's like three days old. This thing is tiny. It doesn't even have its eyes open. Look I know, someone left food and water thinking it's gonna eat it. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh and it was like all soggy and gross. It's That's awful. So bad. Oh my gosh. Guys, I don't really do like cats on my channel, but yeah, she's the one that does all the cats, I mean, but this little guy is just so, so cute. Look at him. So before I get into feeding this little kitten, there's a few things that I have to do. So I told you guys that the baby can't regulate its body temperature so what I'm gonna do is this is where I keep all my newborn animal stuff so I keep my heating pads my blankets my bottles all in here so I'm just gonna have to grab the heating pad a couple blankets and a little pin to put the baby in so whenever I do find a newborn animal you know this is my go-to step that I do I get all my supplies that I need to set up the area the baby is going to be staying in so I wanted to share that with you guys so if you run into any newborn animals you guys know what to do so the first thing I do is I take a little towel and I will place it on the floor and I take a heating pad that you can choose to keep it on or two hours and it will turn off and I will place the heating pad as so just like this I place it on the floor and I will plug it in to an outlet just like this and I'm gonna turn it on so it can already start heating up and I turn the heat up all the way and auto on. Now what I do is I take a little blanket like this and I'll put it over the heating pad so you know the baby has more room to walk around you know if the baby does get too hot it can crawl over here where there is no heating pad so we place it like this and then I will take a couple blankets so the baby can bundle up in like this and then I bought this on Amazon a really long time ago for this exact purpose 
So it's a little playpen thing that you can keep any animal in. You know, once they get a little bigger, it will be too big for them because they can just crawl out of it. But it's perfect for this stage. And all you do is you close it like this. And there you go. There you have your newborn set up area so the baby can stay. So now that the area is set up and getting nice and warm from the heating pad, I am going to take this baby because before you feed any newborn animal, this baby or any baby has to be warm because, you know, it can get sick if it's not heated up to the right temperature before they do eat. And now what I'm going to do is while this baby is heating up on the heating pad, we are going to go make some formula. Now that I have my cup to put the formula in and my formula, I also have my bags of bottles that I keep when I get any animals that we're going to sift through and find the perfect nipple and bottle. So all I'm going to do is you take the kitten formula, and you could get this at any pet store, and it usually comes with a scooper to measure it out, but if you just take this scooper, which is what I do, I'm going to do one. Two. I'm gonna come over here to the water and every one part powder, you're gonna do two parts water. So we did two powder, so one, two, three, and the last one, four. Now that I got the formula all mixed up and the bottle right here, this is what I'm going to use to measure it out, but before we are able to measure it out, I actually have to weigh the baby in order to see how much to feed him. Alright, now that I got the scale here, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to put this little baby in here, but I'm going to put it on the scale and I'm going to have to zero it out. And then what I also do is I have a little notebook where I track all the animals that I get. I track their weight just to make sure that they're gaining weight properly, so I'm going to put white and gray. And I'm gonna put one week old. And I'm gonna grab this little baby. And come on, little buddy. I know you're hungry. Just work with me here. Come on. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So this little guy weighs about 137 grams. So now that I have that done, I'm gonna write that here. So now that I have 137 grams, what you're going to do to properly find how much to feed this little baby is you're going to take 5% of its body weight. So you're going to take 137 times 0 .05 and then you're going to find out how much to feed this little baby. Now that I have the bottle heated up, what I like to do is I put my finger inside and I will tip it just like that to see what the temperature of the milk is in case it's too hot to burn the baby's stomach. So I'm gonna put the cap on just like this, and you can see this little baby is squirming around waiting for its next meal. So I like to take a little towel, or you could take a little stuffed animal, so the baby thinks it's the mom's stomach because they like to knead the stomach to get the milk out. I'm gonna place it like this, and I'm gonna put it like this. Come on, little guy. Oh, look at that, she's so hungry. I wonder when was the last time she ate. Oh look, oh my goodness, I think it has a flea. Oh my God, we're gonna have to inspect that after. But just look at this guy, so cute. So since this kitten is only a week old, you know, this is gonna be round the clock care. Every two hours you have to feed her and stimulate her to go to the bathroom because at this age they can't pee or poop on their own and you know this just is a lot of work and if you guys can't take on this responsibility then i would advise you to take it to your local shelter so any foster parent can you know foster this little baby until it's ready for adoption that's the best bet you have for the survival of this little baby look how tiny this is so pitiful guys thank god that i was a call away to save this little guy or I don't I don't think it would have made it honestly so guys you can see that this little kitty is rejecting the nipple you know most kitties do that at this age because when it's their first feeding without the mom's nipple you know the nipple is hard it's not like the mom's nipple so it's really different and they can reject it sometimes but you know sooner or later they will get the hang of it 
Now that this little guy is done with the bottle, what I'm gonna have to do now is stimulate it to pee. You're gonna see right now that this little guy is gonna pee. Oh, you saw that? It just comes rushing out. You can see it on the little wipe that it's peeing. And sometimes they will make little grunts and cry because when they are pushing to poop, it does hurt them a little bit. So they kind of will cry like it's doing right now. But look, you guys can see that it's pooping. So that is a good sign that it's pooping, that it's not constipating and not having any problems. want to make sure you get all of it out see a little more is coming out so you always want to make sure so now that this little kitty ate all of its food and pooped and peed i'm gonna place it back in here but i want you guys to stop what you're doing right now comment down below a name for this cute little spotted kitty and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you thought and subscribe to the first link down below